What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game silliness. This is the second title in our Steam Survival Game Festival demo playthrough bonanza. It is the Island King's Order. It is a RPG RTS hybrid where you control a hero, build a village, a settlement, uh, use it to conscript soldiers and then destroy all the demons and monsters that are haunting the island. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, the demo is currently available on Steam. I think they plan on releasing it at some point early next year. So yeah, let's just dive straight in and see what it has to offer. Pick a hero. Who's this guy? Okay, so we've got Mick Scottish, definitely. Yep. Description, fighting is what I do best. Monsters must fear me. Bonuses, grants each fighter plus 10 damage, 10% 10 damage. 5% health, okay. What about this guy? Description, archery is the way of living. Every, has he got a monocle or is that a tattoo? I swear by Jove, he carries a monocle. He's a gentleman of leisure. No, it's just a tattoo, okay. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Archery is the way of living. Everything comes down to precision. Grants each archer. Plus 10 damage and 5% range. That sounds quite cool. 5% range might be useful. And Mandu. Magic is all around us. You can just feel it in the air. Grants each mage plus 15% damage. I'm going to go for the archer. I like the range. I reckon 5% range might be useful. That's a strategic advantage right there, that is. It's not just a damage buff. It's a downright advantage having extra range on your enemy. So we're going to pick him. Hector. The monocle man. Welcome, Commander. This will be a brief tutorial that will teach you how to command the military. Okay. Move the camera by wast. Keys holding shift will increase the speed. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Feels smooth. I like it. What else? Rotate the camera by holding on the scroll wheel and dragging the mouse. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I like it. Zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel. Ah, oh, you've got quite a large zoom. As you can see, the white hexagon is the piece of land that you own as for now. Please place your hero building on the map by pressing on the button on the left. Is that this? It is. Do we want it right in the center? I think we probably do. It's our hero uh, house. So it needs to be in the very middle. Even if we have to chop down trees for it. <laughs> As you can see, the white X skin is of here. Yeah, bottom left. Okay. Press on the military button to build a military building. Military. Fighters building. Create different kind of fighters. Required gold 150, 100 wood, and rock. Archers building. Mages building. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go with archers since we get the buff to archers. I'm not sure if we're going to need some tanks, though, that to like. To, you know, to like, oh, you can't rotate. Whoops, so I was trying to click and rotate. Okay, apparently that's where our building is going. Press on the resources button to build a wood saw, rock miners, and gold mine building. Wood saw. Uh, can you rotate it at all? No, there doesn't seem to be a way to rotate. Wood saw, rock miners. There has to be a way to rotate. That was that's so silly. Oh, you press R. There we go. R is rotate. That makes a lot of sense actually. Now that you mention it. Gold mining. I didn't rotate that one. Whoops. And a fence prevents enemies from entering your territory. Oh, it definitely would fence it. He hasn't told us to yet though. So let's go. Press P to transition to your hero. Press C to continue. Oh, that's so cool. Move the player where velocity holds shift will increase the speed. Not very much. Run, you lazy bastard, run! I like his style. His hat and his cloak is cool. Nice red velvet colour, yes. Yes, it shows I'm a royal. With my monocle, we shall rule the world. Press C to continue. Press space to dash. Oh, dash is roll. And he uses stamina, which is yellow. 
press left mouse button to attack and right mouse button to aim. Do I shoot this guy in the head? Probably not. Let's aim for that tree. Poo. That is the slowest arrow I've ever seen. Poo. My goodness, that arrow is slow. Chikar. Okay, that's just ridiculous. I hope not all archers are this slow. Aim and press 1 for special attack. Okay, so that uses mana, which is blue. Or uses whatever the blue resource is, which I'm assuming is mana. What does it do? Fires three at once. Okay. Okay, that's quite cool, actually. I like that. Click on the military building you place and buy a soldier. Buy units, regular archer, long-range warrior. I'm going to buy loads of them. No more room in the building. Ah, I see. Okay, gotcha. Hover over the area outside your white hexagon. Click on the ground and expand your area using the acquired resources and pressing the claim button. Okay, is there any particular adv adv advantage to... Um, what's that? That looks like that looks cool. We want it to spread towards that. That looks like a cave we can explore of some kind. Yeah, let's go. Let's spread towards that. Let's go to this tile. Claim. Click on a resources building. Add a worker to the building by pressing on the question mark. Press left click and drag your mouse to expand the selection box or on release you'll select soldiers. Ah, I see, they need just soldiers. That's so cool. Why is... Oh, this is my hero. Okay, I was wondering what that was. You can order selected soldiers by pressing right click on the mouse. Cool. When you're ready, press next and the first day will start. Okay. So now what do we do? We just carry on, do we? All right. So you get a worker. You get a worker. And I want more military power immediately. I want a fighter's cabin. Boom, like that. Get to it, boys. What are they shooting? What are they shooting? Oh, we got wolves incoming! Okay, archers have seemed pretty buff. Depends how, how much damage they can take. Okay. Oh, so is it like a wave thing? Like, next day you'll get, we'll get another attack? I wonder. Fighter, Spearman, health 140, damage 25, range 3. Spearmen do less damage but more have more range and... Yeah, let's go for Spearman. Four Spearmen. Ooh, five Spearmen. Why, why aren't they appearing? Oh, it's because it's night time, so they're inside. There doesn't appear to be any stone anywhere. Resources, wood, soil. You can put a worker in the building to get wood. Rock miners, you can put a worker in the building and mine rock. Gold mine building, you can put a worker in the building and mine gold. Do we have any gold? Do we have a gold miner? I think we do, don't we? This doesn't tell you what it is. No, you just have to guess according to how they look. So that's obviously wood, that's obviously stone, and that is gold. And I've got one worker on each. So these should be going up. Okay, I can see there's red on the mini-map, so obviously they, the enemies are coming from this direction. Yeah, I can see them now. Looks like crabs of some kind. Uh, Spearman, what are you doing? You need to go in front. Get in formation, boys. Ch 
charge! Okay. So it is a wave game. What the fuck is that thing? Oh shit, run away! Oh, they killed it. Come back, come back into the range of the archers. Do what I tell you! Do what I command! No, they're not listening! You can't pull soldiers, apparently they just fight to the death. You pillocks, what are you doing? But I mean, no one died, that's surprising. So what's to stop me from just building as much as I want? I mean, resources, yes. But what's the point in, like, expanding to them? There doesn't seem to be a reason to expand. Like, if there were rocks over here that I'd have to go and get and, like, iron somewhere else and, like, you know, the basic kind of rudimentary resources, you'd expect... Oh, there we go, there's rocks. Okay, so I think I have to expand... To oh, there's also another... Another... Whatever this is. Over here. So I guess that's where he's going. Oh, there's another one right there. I didn't notice that. I guess that's where he's going for rocks. So... Yeah. Ice mage. Oof. Our fire mage. We'll get two of those and three of these. Oh, you can only get four, so we'll get two of each in that case. Where's my hero? He's still just chilling out down here. M doesn't... His blue does... Oh, I guess he was using it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, we got two waves of enemies. One coming from this direction and one coming from over there. There they are, I can see them. Why are the spearmen at the back? Oh, fuck it, just charge, kill him. You don't listen to me during combat anyway. Okay, the, anim the animations are alright, they, they leave a bit to be desired. Because then the animals just literally disappear. They literally just like, just teleport out. They could do them at a death animation. I'd quite like to see, that would be quite nice. But I'm liking the concept. I see how it, they're, like, what they're going for. Okay, it seems like having melee troops is just not worth it. I suppose they're tanking for us. Yeah, okay, it is worth it. Now the mages are going to get munched. Oh no, they survived. Nice. So we're going to make more spearmen. Again. No available workers. How soon? Do, how quickly do workers spawn? You've got 14 out of 14... 14 out of 14 what? Soldiers. Okay, it's a bit rudimentary. They could do with a few more buildings. And like a, a reason to expand. Like, I wonder what this is. Let's, let's expand here. Oh shit, he just came out of the, He just came out. What the fuck? This guy's some kind of alien. Or living underground. Or is that water? What is that? We're going to claim it. Uh, it must be a mine. That must be... Whoa, he just sinks into the ground. That's weird. Yeah, it must be... Uh, that's where they get gold. That's where they get gold from. Where the fuck he's going, I don't know. Where are you off to? Oi. Everyone just ignores you in this game, no matter what. They just... Uh, they do not listen to their commander-in-chief. Let's just go the next day. Okay, so they're coming at us from two different directions now. 
So it's not really a sort of expand your base and take over the island and kill off enemies. It's a it's a it's a uh, wave defense game. There's not much point in actually spreading your territory. I don't think it does anything for you. What's important is how many military buildings you have. Oh, I can now get a gate. We want another archer building. I don't have enough resources. Can't have more than six buildings per hex. Oh, I do have enough resources. I just need to boom, put it in a different hex. So that's why you have to expand. You do have to expand in order to get more buildings, but that's the only real reason as far as I can tell. Whoa, fire mages seem pretty good. And the wolves, oh, I've just noticed there's wolves down here. They're not really doing anything. Are they attacking the main building? Yeah, they are. Okay, so obviously you have to you have to defend the main building. They don't come for your army or go for your settlers or anything like that. Uh, what are you idiots doing? I didn't tell you to. I didn't tell you to walk into them. I told you to shoot them. Okay, well we got defeated. That's unfortunate. Let's retry. I thought there'd be more to this, to be honest. I thought there'd be more in the game. When you only press next, the first day will start. Yeah, I thought there'd be more to it. I thought it'd be a bit deeper, but there it isn't. It's uh, very, very basic. Yeah, the extra range on the arches doesn't make a difference. I think the best option would be Muck Scottish here. He, the extra 10% health, on, or the extra 10% damage, and 5% health on everyone would be really good. I think I chose the worst character, actually. The extra 5 range doesn't make a difference. Uh, assign someone to you, and assign someone to you. And assign no available workers. Okay. So, once again, we're kind of just waiting for workers. I guess they just spawn naturally over a period of time. Doesn't really say. You can go 1.5 speed. Alright, we're ready. Yeah, quite basic at the moment. It's a cool concept. They just need to add to it. It needs to be you need to be better controlling your soldiers, basically. Is one thing they could add to it. Like being able to actually put your soldiers in some kind of formation. Stopping the archers from just running forward. Uh, these guys are actually listening to your commands when they're in combat, because at the moment they don't, as you can see. They just ignore you and just run straight towards the enemy. Death animations could be a lot better. There could actually be some, for example, rather than just the enemies despawning in front of you. Uh, more buildings would be nice. Tower defences, like, if it's a defence game, why can't we build towers? And we, I know we've got walls, but 
why they're not archery towers we can build and stuff like that. Um, yeah, more soldiers. Just a bit more too, a bit more depth. Different resources. Not just gold, stone, not just three. Stuff like tech trees, research would be really cool. Don't have any more workers. All we can do is build a mage tower. Ah, oh, we're out of hex space. Okay, you've got two coming from different directions, so we need to basically just keep the forces here in the central position and uh, meet them both at the same time. Yeah, here they come. Oh, this isn't good. Take control of our soldier. Oh shit, Wolfie on it, I can't see anything. What was his special move again? Oh shit. Help me, woodsman! Use that axe! Why are you shooting up there? That was so weird. Oh god, now I'm penned in. I think all our forces are dead. I think this is defeat again, boys. So it's actually quite difficult, but you, need, you obviously need to get a build order right. It's obviously a build order game. I can't believe everyone's dead. <laughs> defeat. Uh, and I'm stuck because I'm in the... The character. I'm literally stuck. The, uh, the, the mouse is still trying to guide the character in the background, trying to aim and shoot with the character in the background. But, um, it's obviously gone to a menu where I'm trying to select whether I'm to exit or not. So, that's a soft lock crash. So, I'm probably going to end the stream there, guys. But, thanks for watching. I was expecting a bit more of this game. I thought it would be a bit deeper. But, yeah. Looks interesting. It could just It's just obviously very, very rudimentary and very early stage of the development. Uh, keep an eye on it. Keep it. Add it to your wish list if you liked what you saw. Keep an eye on development and maybe pick it up when it comes out. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next thing that I produce. Going to be streaming another one in about an hour or so. Maybe half an hour. I might just dive straight into it now, actually. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. Hopefully see you all there. If not, I will see you in some other content that I produce. I make content almost every single day. So, peace out till next time.